We now have confirmation on what's coming in Season 1 for Warzone slash Modern Warfare 2. Starting on November 16th, Season 1 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 will deliver action on all fronts. The next iteration of the massive free-to-play Battle Royale experience featuring the much-anticipated DMZ mode, reimagined maps and multiplayer, and an additional Special Ops mission prior to the first raid episode. There will be plenty of content across both games through all new battle pass, football themed events, and more. Al Mazra, home of Warzone 2.0, using 18 major points of interest to plot out your victory in Battle Royale. This massive map will include Al Bagra Fortress, Embassy, Zagwa, Hydroelectric, Tarak, Sarif, and Sa ID. Here is actually a picture of the map will look like on screen right now for you. Call of Duty Next is gonna include some new features and mechanics that have not been revealed yet. Loadouts are also not leaving the Battle Royale scene. Similar to the original Warzone game, loadouts play a large role in what makes this game unique. Additionally, in-match cash can be used to purchase your primary weapon from created loadouts. New backpack system in DMZ mode. Warzone 2.0 will implement fully integrated for DMZ and streamlined for Battle Royale modes. In Battle Royale, like the previous Warzone, supply boxes will throw out items to pick up. When a player interacts with any other loot container such as a duffel bag, medical case, they will function with a loot menu. When a player dies, they will drop their primary weapon on the ground and their backpack, which contains the rest of their content and is accessible through a loot menu. After Next, the new Gulag received some changes over the past two months while still being grounded with a traditional Warzone experience. The Gulag will be a 2v2 environment where randomly paired duos must cooperate to take down their opposition. The Gulag will include a Jailer who will appear in the middle of the match to help speed up combat. Defeating the Jailer will return all four Gulag prisoners back into the game. Although, if neither team nor the Jailer is eliminated, after a brief period of time, all four operators lose. During each match, several strongholds will be activated along the map. Squads can visit these areas to fight AI combatants. The first team to complete a stronghold must disarm a bomb and will earn a key to a black site and their custom loadout. Successive teams must eliminate a specific number of defenders, AI or players and will earn their custom loadout, but not a black site key. Black sites are a more dangerous form of strongholds, but they offer a permanent weapon blueprint reward and even more valuable in match items for those who clear it out. These are available only via the black site key, given to the first team that clears one of the active strongholds. Got something to say? Comms are now open, so any in-game chatter can be picked up by any other squad. This can open up new ways to tackle engagements, or mess with enemies who are holed up inside buildings. Things. Two new vehicles define the refreshed vehicle roster for Warzone 2.0. An aerial powerhouse known as the Heavy Chopper, which can hover in the air without a pilot. And the GMC Gunner EV Pickup, a versatile means to quickly cover serious ground with the whole squad in an all electric super truck. Here is a full roster of vehicles you can expect to find in Al Mazra. No more unlimited fuel sources. All vehicles, yes, including the EV, use fuel over time. And when it runs out, the the vehicle is no longer usable. Vehicles can be refilled either with gas cans found around the map or at gas stations. Gas stations can also repair body damage and tires, thereby restoring vehicle health. However, the operators can also perform flat tire repairs anywhere in the world by interacting with individual tires. Operators can navigate waterways, rivers, and the open sea as part of their overall victory strategy. Remember, only sidearms, melee weapons, and throwing knives can be used while you're submerged. Try using lethal and tactical equipment on or underwater for a wide variety of potential destructive effects. DMV is an open world narrative focused extraction mode where operators have free reign to complete faction based missions, take on additional side objectives, engage with enemy operators or AI combatants, and search for valuable items. 
all while fighting to survive towards in exfiltration. Expect a tactical overview in this mode closer to its launch next week. There's going to be also a third person playlist for Warzone 2.0. Shoot House is also going to be releasing on launch of Season 1, and Shipment will be coming mid-Season 1. The new Battle Pass, now with more player choice, conquer a new Battle Pass as you choose map sectors your way to unlock both free and premium items in whatever order you decide. Four weapons, six total operators, two new weapon platforms, and two trios. One of elite soldiers and one of football's finest are set to bolster your arsenal and operator roster. Four new weapons and two free weapons in the battle pass include the Victus XMI sniper rifle that'll be released at launch, BAS PSMG also releasing at launch, Chimera assault rifle that will be coming mid-season, probably the same update as shipment, and the M1 3B assault rifle which will also be releasing at launch. The new operators include Zeus which will be released at launch, Klaus which will be released mid-season, and Gaz which will also be released mid-season. Prestige 2 is unlocked at rank 100, Prestige 3 is at 150, Prestige 4, 200, and Prestige 5 unlocked at 250. 250 is also the level cap until the end of Season 1. Support the Call of Duty Endowment in honor of Veterans Day. I have done this, so if you want to support veterans, I suggest doing this too. Gear up at the Call of Duty Shop this Black Friday. Call of Duty Shop will hold a special Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale from November 15th to November 28th. All items site-wide are 20% off. This has been Game of Tonic, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Stay frosty.